When, when you're trying to find people, when you're a business, a practice, or a hospital, and you're trying to find people on Google that are your target customer or patient, that everything is supply and demand. And you have to regularly be producing content that, um, and that when you produce content, that's supply. So you have to regularly be supplying content that your target patient is demanding when they get onto Google. There are serious benefits to using Google Plus and and you should be using video um, as the first opportunity you know all content should be created and started in video first because you can then repurpose it in so many different ways like you can take the transcripts of your your rock star doctor and then put that on a on a um, an image and share it socially some wise statement and um, and that's just re a repurpose off of a video or you can take that video and uh, and provide it out to organizations and health causes that that this uh, medical niche is devoted to and then get those organizations to do the marketing for your practice also because if you do a video with your rock star doctor and then you give it out to the cause they will put it up on their foundation site which then expands your discovery footprint you know a lot of companies just track a video we track each individual question and that allows us to know oh look Angelina Jolie just had a prophylactic mastectomy let's go into our archive pull out a prophylactic mastectomy question put it out socially in a matter of minutes and then make sure that our experts are there as a thought leader as soon as a breaking medical news story happens can't do that if you just have a full interview what we do is and I'll just tease it without giving too much um, what we're doing Kathy is we're getting a very small amount of time from a physician or an expert in a month or um, you know every two months and with that in one hour we can create 15 to 18 video clips that then gets repurposed socially for them throughout the month so their commitments like one hour this is the reason it needs to start with video because the spoken word coming out of the experts mouth will come out in little two-minute drops and if you put your expert if you really value your expert you can't have them write a blog because in writing a blog they're experts they're going to give you perfectionist quality, so they're going to spend three hours to write a 400-word blog when that nobody, if, wants to read. that nobody wants to read. But if you did it in video, in that three hours, you could create 45 blogs or in one hour, 15 blogs. See how I use my University of Arizona math? And then what we do with that is then engage socially over months with that content. So I, whenever I hear that an expert's time is valuable and we have them writing blogs or coming up with content, I think it's an absolute waste of the time because um, it's pretty obvious when you come from a search perspective what questions patients are asking for every given condition. It's, uh, it's not a difficult trick because it's all supply and demand. So if you can use the um, search analytic tools to figure out what the demand is and what patients are, are, are craving for, for, which just so happen to be the same questions that they're asking physicians every day. So by creating a frequently asked question library, you're capturing um, content and supplying what patients are going to be demanding when they get into search. Mm -hmm.